Somebody say freedom! He was a convoy kingpin, and now Pat King has been found guilty for his role in the protest that paralyzed downtown Ottawa. King was found to have committed mischief predominantly for a slow roll of the Ottawa airport with dozens of trucks, which he organized. Hold the freaking line. King's encouragement to the protesters in numerous videos he posted online was relied on by the Crown and pointed to by Superior Court Justice Charles Hackland as rationale behind finding him guilty on counseling both mischief and obstruction of police. Support us, man. You guys also King also guilty of two counts of disobeying a court order for encouraging truckers to honk their horns after an injunction had been granted to limit the noise. King appeared at court in person, and while he didn't speak, his roughly two dozen supporters did. Pushing and swearing at journalists who attempted to speak with one of the convoy's leaders. King's lawyer taking a more measured approach. It was a very thoughtful and very reasoned decision by a very learned judge, and we look forward to dissecting it, reviewing it. Natasha Calvino had argued police had barricaded protesters in downtown Ottawa, preventing them from leaving the city, a claim that was rejected by Justice Hackland. The evidence is clear that the protesters and their leadership had no intention of voluntarily leaving the city. Hackland also blamed Ottawa law enforcement for failing to promptly deal with the convoy. The police stood by observing and remarkably declined to intervene, he wrote. Please. King was found not guilty on three counts of intimidation and obstruction of police, but even without that, he could be facing serious jail time. Charge of mischief, it doesn't sound very serious. Like mischief is something that a, you know, a misbehaving child can get up to. But in, in criminal law, mischief is a very serious offense. King's legal team is looking to avoid jail time and will ask for time served and probation. Sentencing is scheduled for January 16th. Mackenzie Gray, Global News, Ottawa.